All right. So um, what we have in this case, ladies and gentlemen, is we want to solve for x. And oh. so we want to go ahead and solve for x for these two sides of our triangles. All right? So to go and do that, we need to set up a proportion. All right? Now notice this is an isosceles triangle because we have these two angles are equal, right? and these two sides are equal. All right, now, one thing that we don't want to make a mistake on, we don't want to set a proportion as 4 is to x plus 5, right? Because those two sides. And then 4 is to x plus 5. Because you notice those are equal to each other. That's not going to help you solve for x, right? So don't make that mistake. What we need to do is we need to use this third side as our proportion, or as one of our other ratios. So I can say 4 is to x plus 5 as 3 is to 9. Now I can apply my cross product. 4 times 9 is 36 equals x plus um, 3 times x plus 5. Would it be the same as 9 up on top? Mm -hmm. If you could do it, you could also write the proportion like this. If you did x plus 5 over 4 is equal to 9 is to 3. So you can go from this triangle is to this triangle, or you could say this triangle is to this triangle. But you have to be consistent. Okay? You couldn't swap those the other way and say x plus 5 is to 4 as 3 is to 9. Right? You've got to go from one triangle to the next. So um, when Alexander, when you go and test this, then I multiply across. So I have 36 equals 3x plus 15. Subtract 15. Subtract 15. 21 equals 3x. Divide by 3, divide by 3, 7 equals x. Okay. Give yourself an MAT or H based on that one. Um, Alexander.